Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you again with a Thompson Guitars Blackwood D45. Here's a rare and unusual instrument for us to look at today. And this is coming to you courtesy of Dale's Showstoppers, Dale Owen. He's Dale's Showstoppers on Reverb. And if you'd like to purchase this guitar, we'll have a link in the description box. Uh, if you would like to do a transaction on Reverb, or if you would like to contact Dale uh, directly, we'll have information there as well. Uh, he said to do that, so that's what we'll do. And this is a Blackwood back and sides aged West Virginia red spruce top, or torified, whichever one you prefer to think of. And this thing, uh, man, does Blackwood have some bass. So let's, let's play through it a little bit. And then we'll talk about the specs. Slap capo on her. We'll check her out up and down the neck. Uh, it's strung brand new uh, Diodario XS17. Says they're coated, they're new coated 17, brand new ones. <laughs> They're going to act like brand new strings on them. on this B flat position a little bit. Well, listen to the way that B flat punches. I like that. Punch right there. Move her on up to B. 
see what we got. See right quick. No, oh, wait a minute, I did that wrong. So talk about the specs. Uh, if you don't know Bob and Larry Thompson, they are builders out of West Virginia. And this guitar was completed in June of this year, 2021. And uh, this guitar, I believe the serial number is 226. I'll have to put that in the description box as well. Uh, anyhow, very experienced builders. They've they've built some guitars for some national flat picking champions over at Winfield, so they've got plenty of cred. Um, and this instrument, of course, we put some pictures up, but I'll throw it up here. Uh, aged West Virginia red spruce top. Now that's pretty stuff right there, isn't it? That's pretty stuff. Blackwood back and sides. Of course, it's got. Uh, your D45 style appointments got pearl all over the place. There's your blackwood back in the side. Uh, the neck, the neck is very, uh, it's very comfortable neck. I didn't throw a caliper on it to see what the thicknesses go, but it's very similar to a low oval uh, Martin kind of feel. And it's mahogany neck, of course, all your inlay there on the fingerboard, ebony fingerboard. Uh, engraved, engraved gold Waverly tuners, you gotta like that. Got a little bit of flash there. Uh, fossilized ivory nut and saddle in this thing. Uh, and of course, you got your strap button already installed. That's nice. Um, fossilized ivory nut and saddle and you might notice this thing's got ebony pins in it Dale had experimented um, the buyer will receive he, he had he had the makers uh, make multiple things here he had fossilized ivory nut and saddle and pins made for this guitar along with bone I, uh, bone nut saddle and pins and he's experimenting he's put some ebony in it because black wood is a very dense wood it's very uh, extremely hard stuff black wood is and that's kind of helps to push so much bass <laughs> like you get out of this guitar now it's not muddy it's not muddy at all you can hear that not muddy but it's got a really big bass response in it uh, and blackwood is extremely dense stuff and and Bob and Larry Thompson are kind of known for their blackwood guitars being uh, one of their big time specialties and 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 people being real into those so uh, you got the blackwood and you've got a torrified West Virginia red spruce top and 
of course, through torrefaction, the wood becomes harder. So uh, throw fossilized ivory into that. Um, I think Dale is keeping, has the ebony pins in it right now just to sort of suit his playing style and to keep it from getting overly, uh, overly loud and, and, and screaming at you, the trebles, uh, you know, just, just keep the trebles balanced and tamed. But the buyer will have the option of, of a couple sets of, of pins and saddles and nut combinations to play with and see what you like. Um, one and three quarter to nuts, I believe this is two and five sixteenths spacing on the bridge. Of course, the bridge is ebony and decorative. Man, they, they, they really do something on the inlay on this. I tell you, Bob and Larry Thompson, um, at least me, I haven't seen a lot of 45s out of them. I do know that Dale has a Brazilian 45. I don't know if he has it on the market right now, but he's kind of fellow that everything's got a price on it. Um, so I know that if you contacted him, if it wasn't on the market and the price is right, he would let that go. Um, but you might have seen a lot of Bob and Larry Thompson 28s, 18s, a uh, lot of OMs. They, they have a couple of different body style OMs. Um, and actually, I think Dale might have a few of those. I know he's had like some shipwreck Brazilian and uh, aged red spruce OMs that were, were really, uh, you know, something to behold. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're really, uh, this one at least is styled after a 37. It's a forward shifted scallop bracing. Uh, Bob and Larry have experimented in the past with um, some stuff that you see in the classical guitar world where uh, carbon fiber is, is in the bracing. To make the top and the braces lighter, you know, uh, some makers will try a carbon fiber and balsa wood combination, which is really light and strong. Uh, Bob and Larry did some of that, so you you might have seen some of those on acoustic guitar forum or unofficial Martin guitar forum and various places, uh, just where they've experimented with different bracing patterns and styles. But this one, Dale tells me is the forward shifted scalloped 37 pattern. And if you have any questions, you're interested in this guitar, check out the description box, contact Dale Owen and he'll be glad to hook you up with her. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe, like, share. Anyone that's interested in buying, selling, trading guitars or hearing demos of guitars that you uh, have not been able to get into your hands, uh, we do our best to be an outlet for that. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you.